Fundamental Class. Today's topic is flip flop. Now, digital electronics is further classified into two parts. First one is a combination circuit, second is sequential circuit. Now, sequential circuit, what are sequential circuit? Sequential circuit are those whose output depends upon input at that instant of time. Whereas in case of a sequential circuit, the output depends upon the input as well as the pass history of the input. Now, further sequential circuit are further divided into two parts are classified into two parts. The first one is what synchronous, synchronous sequential circuit. And second is what is synchronous sequential circuit. Now, sequential circuits are those in which the signals can affect the memory element only at the discrete instant of the time. In sequential circuit, I repeat, in sequential, in synchronous sequential circuit, signal can affect the memory element only at the discrete instant of the time. Whereas in case of asynchronous sequential circuit, the change in input circuit can affect the memory element at any time. Now, I start with a 1 bit memory element. Now, 1 bit memory element, the basic element of this is a fillet. Now, what do you mean by Philip flop? Philip means what? Philip means Philip means set and flop means reset. That means when the value of the flow is equal to that means this value is equal to one, then we can say that the memory element is Philip, and if this value is equal to zero. Say that in this circuit is a reset circuit. Now, this is the basic circuit for a one bit memory element and cross coupled inverter as a one bit memory element. In this case, we have used the NAND gate as an inverter and the output of an G1 is connected to the, is feedback to the A1 of an G2. And whereas the output of G2 is feedback to the A1. Now, in this case, if we assume the value of the Q is equal to 0, then it gets feedback from here act as an input of an A2 and it is equal to 0. And with this, this one is equal to as NAND. We are using NAND gate. With this as an inverter, now if the input is 0, output will be 1 and this 1 will act as an input as an A1. Now with this NAND gate is an inverter, with this 1 and it goes to be a 0. Now if we look at this circuit, when the value of the Q is equal to 0 and the Q bar is equal to 1, it is always a complement of an Q. Now from the observation of this circuit, what we have concluded that the output is always a complement of an each other. If Q is equal to 0 and the value of the core bar is equal to 1. If Q is equal to 1 and Q is equal to 0. That means the output of an one bit memory element is always a complement of an each other. Second, it has two stable state. First one is what? One state and second is zero state. Okay? The one state is also called as a set state and zero state is also called as a reset state. Okay? And the third one is what? The circuit, once the circuit has attained the value of a one state, it remains equal that circuit. Okay? If, suppose if the circuit has attained the value Q is equal to 1, it will be remain into a bad state until it gets off. Or in case of if Q is equal to 0, it will be remain in a dead state. That is why the circuit is also called as a latch circuit or a log circuit. Okay? Now we can not enter the value in this circuit 
blanket. One is prepared from here, from this one is this, and then after that, NAND as an inverter is connected here. This recent, this is what set S set and this one is what R, which is a recent. Now in this circuit, we have seen that in this circuit we cannot give any external input. The value that has been attained by this circuit will be remain in and that value until the circuit is switched off with a small modification. We can enter the value in this circuit. Suppose the value of S is equal to is equal to zero and R is equal to one. And we assume that the value of Q is equal to one. 